often we talk about outdoor garden management and how to manage those pests. But when you're looking at a controlled environment or a greenhouse, managing those pests can sometimes be a different challenge. A lot of times greenhouse managers might see problems like thrips, scale, and white flies and have to figure out how to resolve those problems. Well, of course, there's always pesticides, but looking at a more of an IPM approach or integrated pest management is really the best approach, where you want to look at using environmental or biological controls before you go to those pesticides. Today we're here at the Greenhouse Learning Center to talk with Holly Passmore, who is the greenhouse manager, about how she is using the mealybug destroyer in order to control those pesky mealybugs. I'm Holly Passmore. I'm the greenhouse manager for the Greenhouse Learning Center and today we're going to talk about mealybugs. So some of the common insect pests in greenhouses are aphids, thrips, mealybugs, spider mites, and scale. Um, mealybugs and scale are really hard to control, so what we are doing is we're using IPM, which is Integrated Pest Management, and that is a form of using beneficial insects to help combat the insects that are detrimental to our crops. So what we're using in the greenhouse to combat the mealybugs is the mealybug destroyer, also known as cryptolamus, to combat our mealybug issue. Now all stages of the cryptolamus will feed on the mealybugs, so they're always going to have a food source until they complete their mission. The adults will eat up to 250 mealybugs in their lifetime and then they will reproduce and start another generation. So the difference between an, a mealybug and a mealybug destroyer, they look very similar. They both will have a white waxy coating on them, but the mealybugs are going to be much smaller and they're not going to be moving as readily as the mealybug destroyer. The mealybug destroyers are going to be larger than the mealybugs and they are really fast movers. So that's, that's a good way to tell the difference on what you have. When the mealybug destroyer molts into the adult, it will be basically a ladybug and it's not your typical ladybug, it's going to be much smaller than the regular ladybug. So mealybugs will feed on the saps of the plants, they will get in the creases of the plants, the underside of the leaves, and you really won't notice a problem until you see the plant starting to decline. And once the plant starts to, to decline, it, once on a closer inspection, you'll see some sooty mold that they produce. So the crypto, cryptolamus is the best insect predator for controlling a severe infestation of mealybugs because they're going to eat a lot of mealybugs. So once they are done eating and they've cleaned up the plants, they can also feed on other soft-bodied insects like aphids, some spider mites, and just some other food sources that they, they can find. So your mealybug destroyers will come in a vial like this. We release 250 of them in two greenhouses. Now, you will not be able to buy these locally. They are going to have to be specially gotten from a insectary. Now, the, the mealybug destroyers are gonna be perfect for a hobby greenhouse or in commercial settings, but they're not really used for home gardening. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel and join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.